So my story is called The Adventures of Woodrow and Ferdinand. It is a historical fiction narrative about our 28th president, Woodrow Wilson, and his pet gator, Ferdinand. <laughs> Woodrow Wilson, or POTUS 28, as he liked to be called, was lounging around at Chateau POTUS, the White House, watching his favorite movie, The Birth of a Nation. Suddenly, his pet alligator, Ferdinand, walked in. He began making alligator noises. Oh no, said Woodrow, I better take him for a walk. He paused the movie and got Ferdinand's leash. They began to walk through Washington. On the way, they encountered protesters from the women's suffrage movement. Give us the right to vote, Mr. President, they shouted. We've waited long enough. There'd have to be a world war before that happened, and it's POTUS 28 to you, said Woodrow. <laughs> he continued to walk Ferdinand. Suddenly, a man dressed in all red jumped out and scared him. Ah, said Woodrow. Hey, red guy, you scare me. Sick him, Ferdinand. <laughs> He let go of Ferdinand's leash and Ferdinand chased him through Washington. He came back with the man's wallet, which had over $100,000 in it. Yo, nice Ferdinand, said Woodrow. You got us some dough. To celebrate, I'm gonna put myself on the $100,000 bill for my new Federal Reserve. They began walking back to Chateau POTUS. Suddenly, Vice President Thomas R. Marshall came running out of the White House in a panic. POTUS 28! POTUS 28! he shouted. Germany is practicing unrestricted submarine warfare. They've sunk the Lusitania. Let's go to war. I'm kind of neutral on the idea, said Woodrow. <laughs> what do you think, Ferdinand? Ferdinand made some gator noises. <laughs> Well, you did always want to see the world. Now let's go to war at once. And the rest is history. <laughs>